This is the Paralyte Filter Media. It's a substitute for the Diatomaceous Earth. It's, you can see here that it's natural non-toxic and it filters down to 4 microns. One thing you'll notice right away about this particular filter media is that you use a lot less. You probably use about half what you would use in your DU filter. I'm going to make the Paralyte by superheating the material by about 600 to 1600 degrees. And that gets all the water out of the material and also expands it. It's kind of like a kernel of popcorn. When you cook it, it pops and it expands. That's why the media is so lightweight, yet it has great coverage of the filter grids. To spread a diatomaceous earth, you would use about half the amount of the Paralyte in your filter. The particular filter on my route that I'm going to test it in is 48 square feet. So I'm going to go ahead and use 5 scoops of the Paralyte versus 8 to 10 scoops of diatomaceous earth. A bag of diatomaceous earth and a bag of Paralyte. I'm going to grab some in my hand and move it around. You can see that it's very soft. It feels much thicker. You can see how it coats my hand, so it's much cakier. Here's a scoop of diatomaceous earth. I'm going to put it in the bucket so you can see the difference. See how quickly that sank to the bottom. Scoop with the Paralyte. See how it kind of floats on top. It takes a lot longer to sink. It's much lighter material. It'll give you the same coverage as the diatomaceous earth on your filter. And this same size bag, 25 pounds, pretty heavy. And the same bag of the Paralyte is very light. And it actually is by volume 1.6 cubic feet versus weight. Some of the benefits of the Paralyte over the diatomaceous earth. Paralyte is a lighter filter material, so it'll cover the grids and give the filter more flow, higher flow rate. Also in backwashing, since the Paralyte doesn't cake up like the diatomaceous earth, you'll have better backwashing results when you go to backwash your filter. Another benefit of the Paralyte over the diatomaceous earth is that it's non-toxic. Bag of the diatomaceous earth, you read the small print, you'll see that it has crystalline silica in it, which is a carcinogen group 1. This is the main difference between the Paralyte and the Diatomaceous Earth filter media. This is about a 25,000 gallon fiberglass pool. So I'm going to use this filter as my test filter. I'm going to use the Paralyte here and I'm going to check back in about five months. So let me take it apart and clean it. Get all the DE out of here. I get the clamp off here. I'm going to thoroughly clean this DU filter and then reassemble the filter and go ahead and put the Perlite in. I'm going to reassemble the filter after cleaning them and inspecting the grids. Everything looks good here. I'm going to lube up the o ring here and put everything back together. Add the Perlite here for you. You want to fill up a bucket with water. And you want to add it to here and you're going to make a slurry with it. Otherwise it'll float in a skimmer and it won't float the grids properly, so it's such a lightweight material. It's the only way to really add it to your pool. The best coverage you want to add it in two different batches. I'm going to go ahead and add three scoops to the first batch. I'm going to move it around and make it to a slush. I'm going to go ahead and pour slowly into the skimmer here. This way the grids get full coverage. I'm going to fill the bucket up again and repeat the process with the last two scoops. Okay, I'm going to put the last two scoops in here. Then I'll stir it up. And I'm going to go ahead and pour the second batch to the skimmer. I guess I'll check back here in five months. I'll clean the filter and I'll also update monthly on how the pool's looking.